Mr. Brother, I'm here again uh, with some update about the Omicron virus, the coronavirus. Uh, it is very contagious. It's not that serious with those people who are vaccinated, especially those who are fully vaccinated. It's not that serious, but it is so contagious it can come from one person to another person so easily uh, that uh, about 25 times more than the previous coronavirus. So basically, that has some impact. The impact is when more people are being infected, then there are more people turn over at the hospital. There are more people would be in the in house in hospital, so we have less resources to take care of the other people. The seriousness wise is not that serious. Like you know, I think about three four weeks ago, I was talking about this coronavirus. At that time, when I'm working at Holy Cross Hospital, we had only two patients in uh, mid December. Then end of December, it went up to around 20 patients when the last time I was talking about the corona. Now, we have one whole floor is full of COVID and other floor, half of the other floor is COVID. One of the ICM is full of COVID and the other one they're opening up, up for the COVID. Now, number wise, it's a huge number. Seriousness is not that serious everyone really. What's happening, a lot of people, not a lot, some people really, they're coming for different reasons to the hospital. But the hospital calls in our days to check the COVID before admission. And they become positive. Once they become positive, they need to go to the COVID floor. The reason why I'm saying this, you know, those people might not be positive if we are a little bit conscious about what we should do, what we should not do. If we are really a little bit responsible about us not only, about our families, about the friends, about my neighbor, about the people I know and I don't know. And this is very simple really. This is very simple like it's everyone's choice whether you take the vaccine or not. Definitely. But I would say that you know, if you take the vaccine, take the booster, you have a little chance that you can transmit the virus to anyone else. Or you can get the virus, even if you get it, it should not be that serious. But it's up to you. Whether you choose to take the vaccine or not, that's completely up to you. Wearing a mask is up to you too. But the problem is you should realize that wearing a mask is not to protect yourself, but it's to protect your brothers, the neighbors, the people with whom you are really uh, uh, mixing. Because that's the one that protects. So if most of the people at least wear the mask, then we should not have that much uh, a patient in hospital. Because that really, goes to one person and another person more frequently than anything else. So this that's a simple thing really, just wearing your mask to protect your brothers, nothing else. When we wear the mask, we should also remember that, you know, it should be wear the, the, the way it needs to be wear. Like it should cover the nose, cover the mouth. Because if you open the nose, Let's see how do you test the COVID. They take the swab from the nose. So if I open my nose and close my mouth, then what's the point? Because we take the swab from the nose. That means in the nose, the virus is there. So whenever I'm, I'm, I'm just taking breathing or sneaking or something, the virus will come out. So if I'm not covering my nose, it's almost not wearing a mask. So my main thing that I wanted to give you all today is what is the health impact
attack right now we are facing. I couldn't remember all those things, so I have to look at my phone to let you know. You can all go to online, you can Google it, you can find it. It's everywhere. Just last yesterday, this is the data from Broward County yesterday, the hospital data. There is 1,218 patients in the hospital now. That means it sounds only 1,218. There are hundreds of people here. But how it's affecting? It took about 91% of the facility service. 91%. And in acute care, like hospital, like Holy Cross, 94% of the beds are being covered by them. So it's a huge impact here. If you look at the ICU, 89% beds are occupied by the COVID uh, patients. So the reason I'm getting the, giving this, because you know, it looks like there is very simple, only 1,200 patients is admitted in the hospital. So big deal, it's a huge broad county, but it's not really. It's, it's sucking out a lot of resources that we have. You can easily see that, you know, nowadays it's very difficult to have the tested for the COVID. Because it is there. Uh, so, I just want to make a little bit emphasize on the persons who are vaccinated or not vaccinated. Because as I said earlier, the vaccination is always your own choice. The persons who are vaccinated, fully vaccinated, and you know that what is called fully vaccinated, those who got the two shots and a booster, they are fully vaccinated. Those who got the two shots, they are vaccinated, but not fully, not yet. So those who are fully vaccinated, those brothers should avoid the large gathering, at least nowadays. Because you are fine. You are not going to transmit the virus. But there are some other virus who doesn't really think about you. So you need to take care of yourself. So you need to be avoiding those brothers who doesn't take care of you really. You can. Like, big gathering is like, like waiting and all the receptions and all those things. You need to avoid those things. You can. The fully vaccinated brother can travel freely. It's not a problem to travel, but just make sure that wherever you are going, they are really well equipped with the COVID things. Because you never know, you might get the COVID when you are there, and they don't have that resource to take care of you. So make sure that uh, uh, they have the resource to take care of you at, at, at that place. Really. The fully vaccinated brother, they can have a small gathering in their own house, especially if the other brothers are also vaccinated. Uh, if a fully vaccinated brother exposed to any person who has confirmed COVID test, who has confirmed COVID, what they're going to do? Usually, if you get a chance, you can test yourself for the COVID in five days, not before that. In five days. And try to wear the mask for at least 10 days when you are going in public. So five days after you can test, and 10 days you wear the mask when you are in the public. You don't have to test it if you're fully vaccinated unless you have the symptoms. But if you want, you can do it. That's fine. If you have any symptoms after you are in full contact with the COVID patient, then you should be at home, stay at home for five days. And after five days, if the symptoms are getting better, especially if you have fever and the fever gone, then you can go out. If you have some short of breath, the short of breath is much improved, then you can go out, out, out of the house even if all the symptoms are not gone. After five days, you can go out, you can do your normal work as much as you can. Only uh, remember that you need to wear the mask 
for four or ten days. It's for the fully vaccinated brothers. For the unvaccinated brothers, they should definitely avoid the crowded places, gatherings. They should not really try to fly or travel at this time because the problem is Say the patient that I, I, I told earlier in hospital, most of them are unvaccinated. Those who are in ICU or in a serious condition. The patients who are vaccinated are not that in serious condition really. So if any one of us choose not to take the vaccine, that's his choice, but I will encourage them not to travel at this time really. Because if you got it, it might cause some real problems. Uh, there are some certain symptoms, like when we go to the hospital every day, we have to fill out this form every day, and we have to have the temperature check before we can enter inside the hospital. So those are the symptoms that can give you an idea that is there any chance that I have uh, a COVID infection or I have a chance to, to have that infection. I can give you only a few, few of those, really, like, if anyone of us have any one of the symptoms in the past 48 hours, or these symptoms get worse in the past 48 hours, what are those? Number one, fever, if it is more than 100, cough, shortness of breath, loss of taste, Loss of smell and vomiting. If any one of the symptoms that happened within the past 48 hours are getting worse within the past 48 hours, then we should be concerned about to test for the COVID. Number two, if any of the two of the symptoms that I'm going to tell are new within the past 48 hours and they're not your normal seasonal thing, like a lot of us have the seasonal allergy. We have a sneezing, runny nose, coughing, we have it. If it is not like your usual thing, then if two of those things are present, try to get tested. What are those? If you have a chills, if you chills or shaking, you have fatigue, you have muscle pain, you have headache, sore throat, diarrhea, any congestion, runny nose, nausea. If two of those are present within 48 hours or in getting worse, then you should be tested. So that you can find out that if you're positive, then you can take that five days of stay home and then wearing masks at least for 30 days. The other thing, if you are in close contact with a person who has COVID, and the close contact means it's about 15 minutes or more uh, and you are with them within the less than 6 feet, within 24 hours, that's the close contact. So 15 minutes or more, less than 6 feet, within 24 hours. And then you develop one of the symptoms that you should be uh, tested for that whether you have COVID or not. So basically the reason that I'm saying all these things, just to make sure that if you have any symptoms, Anything like this, at least think of your brother for the sake of your brother's health. Take precaution. The only simple precaution wearing a mask. Just wearing a mask in the public, and that will help. So, inshallah, I think that might help some of you. Uh, if it is, then I'll thank Allah for giving me this opportunity to let you know all this information. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.